Welcome back, Busy Bees. Welcome to our Read Aloud. Today we will be reading a story called The Enormous Turnip. Now, have you ever tasted or seen a turnip before? Now, today we are going to talk about enormous. Can you show me with your hands the meaning of little? How about big? Now show me enormous. If something is enormous, it is, is it big or little? Yes, it's big. How big is it? It's very big. Now show me with your hands. Good. Now remember, today you have two jobs as I read. You are going to ask a question. You are going to think if you don't understand something that happens in the story, ask yourself a question. Now, the answer of your question might be in the words or it can be in the, the pictures. Your second job is to note important de details. Think about the important things that happen in the story. That will help you understand it better. Sp pay special attention to the things that happen. This will help you know more about the characters and about what happens in the story. Okay, so go ahead and do those jobs as you listen to the story. The Enormous Turnip, a classic Russian folktale. Once upon a time, a farmer planted a turnip seed, and this is what he said to it. Grow, turnip, grow. Grow big and grow strong. The turnip heard, and it did. It grew into a big, huge, enormous turnip. In fact, some who saw it say it was the biggest, strongest turnip in the land. Now, as you may know, or you may not know, a turnip is a vegetable that grows like a carrot. It grows with its leaves sticking up out of the ground and the eating part under the ground. When it is ready to eat, it must be pulled up out of the ground by its top. Hmm, knowing how turnips grow will help you better understand the story. One day, the farmer decided that the turnip was big enough to pull, to pull up and eat. First, he gave it a tug, then he gave it a pull, and then he gave it a yank, but the turnip stayed stuck in the ground. Hmm. Why do you think the farmer couldn't pull the turnip out of the ground? What can he do now? What would you do? The man then called his wife who was milking the cow. Wife! Please come and help. I want to pull our enormous turnip out of the ground so we can eat it, but it is stuck. The woman put her arms around her husband, her husband's waist and held fast. One, two, three, they said together and gave a mighty pull, but the turnip did not budge from its place in the ground. So the woman called their granddaughter who was feeding the chickens. Granddaughter, please come and help. We want to pull our enormous turnip out of the ground so we can eat it, but it is stuck. The granddaughter put her arms around the woman who held fast to her husband who held on to the top of the turnip. One, two, three, they said together and pulled as hard as they could but the turnip was still stuck in the ground. Then the granddaughter called the black dog that was sleeping in the sun. Black dog, please come and help. 
We want to pull our enormous turnip out of the ground so we can eat it. But it is stuck. How do you think a dog could help? Hmm. Will they get the turnip out? Why? What do you think? The black dog grabbed the coat of the girl who held on to the woman, who held fast to her husband, who held on to the top of the turnip. One, two, three, they set together and pulled as hard as they could, but the turnip was still stuck in the ground. Now the black dog called the orange cat that was sitting in a tree. Orange cat, please come help. We want to pull our enormous turnip out of the ground so we can eat it, but it is stuck. This time on the count of three, the cat pulled the dog's tail, who pulled the coat of the girl, who pulled on the woman, who held fast to her husband, who held on to the top of the turnip. They all pulled as hard as they could, but the turnip was still stuck in the ground. Finally, the orange cat called a tiny little mouse that was watching from a safe distance. A mouse? Does that make sense? Do you think a little mouse could be much help getting the enormous turnip unstuck? What do you think? Why? Why do you think that? Oh, little mouse, please come and help. We want to pull our enormous turnip out of the ground so we can eat it, but it is stuck. Do you promise you won't eat me? Asked the tiny little mouse. We promise, said the rest. So the mouse pulled on the cat's tail, who pulled on the dog's tail, who pulled on the coat of the girl, who pulled on the woman who held fast to her husband, who held on to the top of the turnip. They all pulled as hard as they could. One, two, three, they counted together and pulled as hard as they could. And guess what? Out came the turnip with a loud pop. Hurrah, they all cheered. The woman then cooked the enormous turnip for her family. And she gave a bit of it to all the animals who helped. But she saved the sweetest part for the little mouse. Do you think it was the mouse that finally made the turnip come out? What do you think happened? Good job, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.